In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a testimonial slider in Wix. Although it is possible to add a testimonial slider through Wix itself, I don't believe that the uh, option that Wix offers is flexible and customizable enough to meet the needs of every business. So I want to show you a significantly better and also free and easy to set up alternative. So the first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, and that will take you to the lsite.com platform. Once you click on the link, this is the page that you're going to land on. From here in the navigation menu, you will see a widgets button right next to the logo here. Hover over this button and then underneath reviews, go all the way down until we see testimonial slider right here. Click on that and then that's going to take you to the testimonial slider widgets page. From here, scroll down a little bit and you'll see create widget for free. And then you'll be taken to this section of the page, which is where on the left hand side, you can see a bunch of different templates. On the right hand side, you'll see a little preview of what that template will look like. Don't worry about the actual uh, look of each of the templates because absolutely everything that you see is customizable, including the colors, images, uh, the little, I don't know, names here or the uh, logos, the verified customer, everything is customizable. So choose the template that you want to go for. So you can see there's quite a few different ones to go with. So if you want something simple like this, go for that. If you want uh, this one, go for that one. Uh, browse through them, decide which one you want to go for. And then once you're ready, click on continue with this template right here, this green button. And then this is where we can customize absolutely everything to do with your slider, which is not possible on Wix. So as you can see here, you have the actual testimonials. So I have about eight or nine. So as you can see, I can scroll through them like this. If you click on these three dots right here, we can delete, duplicate and edit uh, each of the testimonials. So if you click on edit here, you can change the star rating. As you can see, it's four, three, whatever you want it to be. Change the name, the caption, the date, Everything is customizable, like I said. If you want to add a new one, click this. On the left-hand side, you have layout. So if you don't like this layout for whatever reason, you can change it to whatever you want here. As you can see, uh, if I just scroll down a bit like this, you can change the width, the widget title, etc. The testimonials, uh, the actual style as well. You can show or hide the verified badge. As you can see, there's lots of different options and settings that you can play with to really make this testimonial slider just the way you want it to, as well as the style. So if I just change these things, as you can see, they update um, in real time, so you don't need to save and go back and check and edit and stuff. So what you see here on the right hand side is basically what settings you've set on the left hand side. Once you're ready with everything here and you're happy with the way your testimonial slider looks, go ahead and click on more about to make sure it looks as well as you want it to be. And then once you're ready to go, head over to the add to website for free button in the bottom left corner of the screen. And then your widget will be saved. It takes just a couple of seconds. And once it's saved up, it will take you to this page right here, which is where we need to hit the publish button in the top right corner of the screen. So go ahead and click publish. And then now we need to choose a plan. Since this is the only uh, widget that we're going to be using from outside, we can go for the free plan right here. It's free forever. And as you can see, it supports uh, one widget. However, in the future, if you do decide to use multiple of their widgets or you want to unlock more functionalities, you can go for one of the premium plans right here. As you can see, they have quite a few different ones to choose from. But for now, let's go with the free plan. Click on select. And then um, this will take us to this page right here, which is where we can copy the code for our widget. So go ahead, click on copy code, and now we can head over to our Wix website. I'm on my Wix website right now, so I'm going to scroll down a bit. And this is the section where I want to add my uh, new testimonial slider. So I'm going to go to the editor. And then what we need to do once it loads up is head over to the top right corner of the screen. And underneath the publish button, you will see a search button that looks just like this here. That allows us to search the editor. So search for HTML. And as you can see, add to site, click on embed, which is the only option that comes up. And then on the left hand side, a new window is going to open up from here, choose embed HTML. And then this is going to add this HTML block to your Wix website from here in this box, simply paste the code that we just copied, click on update, give it a couple of seconds. And then as you can see, your testimonial slider will automatically be added to your Wix website from here. What we need to do is basically just stretch it to width to the size that you basically want. So give me a couple of seconds. And now I've already hit preview and as you can see, it is right here. The testimonial slider is fully functioning and it looks just great. Now you can see here, the text is uh, in gray. That's because I didn't pay attention to the actual colors, but yeah, everything is customizable. Like I said, so go ahead, make it just the way you want to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.